Question four on page 28 often gives people grief. I think because it uses one of our first techniques from this unit. So people tend to forget that we have that in our toolkit by the time we get to that lab. Remember the instructions for this worksheet. First, we need to identify our variables. And it tells us that we've got the income as a function of total sales. So I'm going to use I for income and S for total sales. And just for clarification, it might be better if it worded it as profit instead of income. So just in case it's not clear, that's what they mean by income. And their profit or income depends on the sales, so the income is dependent and the total sales is the independent variable. Next, we need to state whether it's linear or exponential. And it actually says it's linear, so there's not a whole lot you have to think about there. Now we need our model. And since we're given the data for these two variables, we'll have to use Excel. So the first thing you need to do is enter your data into Excel with the independent variable in the top row and the dependent variable below it. Then, insert a chart. Make sure that it's the first option for a scatter plot. Then you should label it so you can remember what you're looking at. And finally, right click on a data point to insert a trend line. Make sure you click on the bottom two boxes so that it shows you the model right here. So that's the model for our situation, except it's using Y and X. So we need to translate that back into the variables we were using. Translating that back into the variables we define, we have that the income equals 0 0.03 times the total sales minus 9,257.6. So there's our model. And now it's asking us, for part D, how much do they need to have in sales each month to break even? Breaking even means that the profit is zero, and like I said earlier, the income is just another word for the profit. So we can plug in zero for the income and solve for the sales. Adding the 9,257.6 to both sides, we have that that equals 0 0.0. 3s, then divide both sides by 0 0.03. We get that the sales needed to break even is $308,586.67.